What if space missions could be launched and landed multiple times a day, every day? That future just took a major step forward, as SpaceX recently pulled off a monumental feat, catching its super heavy booster mid-air while Starship landed smoothly. This isn't just another routine test, it's a pivotal moment in space history. But why is this mid-air catch so revolutionary? What makes it more important than we think? What happened to the booster and the iconic launch tower afterward? The world is buzzing about SpaceX's recent advancements, especially with insights straight from Elon Musk. Earlier Starship tests faced numerous challenges with the Stage Zero infrastructure, which includes the launch pad, support structures, and everything that makes the liftoff possible. The immense power of the Super Heavy booster, with its 33 Raptor engines, each generating half a million pounds of thrust, put tremendous stress on the system. The ground beneath the pad was damaged, especially in earlier tests, as it bore the brunt of the incredible forces unleashed during liftoff. Fast forward to Flight 5, years of modifications and improvements have clearly paid off. SpaceX has demonstrated that after relentless effort, they've made significant strides in solving the issues that plagued the launch pad. Stage Zero is now positioned as a reliable platform capable of supporting rapid, repeated launches. SpaceX's Starship program revolves around the concept of rapid reusability. And this isn't just about recovering rockets, it's about launching, catching, and relaunching them without extensive downtime. Think about it. In the past, even the most advanced launch systems faced long delays between missions due to the need for extensive repairs. The heat, pressure, and shock of launch often resulted in costly damage. One infamous example was the crater that formed under the launch pad during an early test flight, effectively tearing apart the foundation. But SpaceX, true to its innovative spirit, tackled this problem head-on. Enter the Water Deluge System, a game-changing feature that has preserved the integrity of the launch site. This system floods the pad with water during liftoff, cooling the superheated gases and absorbing the shock waves produced by the engines. The result? The intense heat and vibrations that would otherwise wreck the launch pad are kept in check. During Flight 5, this water deluge system worked flawlessly. The launch pad survived with minimal wear and tear, which is a crucial achievement for SpaceX's long-term goals. This is important because maintaining the integrity of the launch pad will allow for quicker turnaround times between missions. Imagine a future where SpaceX could launch multiple times in a single day, something that would be revolutionary for the entire space industry. Of course, while the Stage Zero improvements were a major win, the real showstopper during Flight 5 was Mechazilla, SpaceX's towering structure attached to the launch tower. Mechazilla is equipped with massive chopstick arms designed to catch the Super Heavy booster after it separates from Starship. The concept here is revolutionary. Instead of the booster landing on the ground or in the ocean, which would risk damage or require extensive refurbishment, Mechazilla catches it midair, allowing for immediate reuse. During Flight 5, Mechazilla performed beyond expectations, catching the descending booster with remarkable precision. This was no small feat. Remember, the Super Heavy booster weighs over 3 million kilograms when fully fueled. The booster executed a controlled hover maneuver, guided by its Raptor engines, before being gently captured by the chopstick arms. By catching the booster mid-air, SpaceX eliminates the need for complicated landing systems and drastically reduces refurbishment time. In theory, the booster could be refueled and ready for another flight within hours, potentially slashing the cost and increasing the frequency of launches. But let's not forget, the flight wasn't without its challenges. As the booster hovered before being caught, a fire broke out in the engine bay, engulfing the lower portion of the rocket. Fortunately, this was not the result of an engine failure, and all three engines continued operating normally. Elon Musk later clarified that the heat caused some damage, including scorching the outer paint and warping the nozzles of the outer engines. But despite these issues, the core systems of the booster performed as intended. 
Another challenge SpaceX faced was the sheer weight of the booster, which caused the chopstick arms to bend slightly during the catch, around 15 centimeters. While this flex was within acceptable limits, it highlights just how immense the forces involved are. To address this, SpaceX has outfitted the inside of the arms with bumper pads that absorb some of the shock during the catch. These pads performed well, preventing any major structural damage to the tower. Despite these minor setbacks, the successful catch marks a monumental step forward for SpaceX. Each test flight yields valuable data that will help refine and improve the system, making future flights even more reliable. The heart of SpaceX's rapid reusability goals lies in its Raptor engines, which power both the Super Heavy Booster and the Starship spacecraft. These engines are among the most powerful and efficient ever built. During Flight 5, they delivered the booster to orbit with precision and power, but the heat from the hover maneuver caused some damage to the booster's outer surface. Elon Musk acknowledged these issues, but downplayed their significance, noting that the damage could be easily repaired. The ultimate vision for SpaceX is to make space travel as routine as flying on a plane. This means launching, catching, and relaunching rockets within hours, drastically reducing costs while increasing the frequency of missions. Starship Flight 5 brought SpaceX closer to this dream, and the successful Mechazilla catch system, combined with Stage Zero's resilience, indicates that SpaceX is on the verge of achieving a fully reusable launch system. One of the next key milestones for SpaceX will be the development of orbital refueling systems, allowing Starship to refuel in space and undertake longer missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. By making interplanetary travel more feasible, SpaceX continues to revolutionize the future of space exploration. In short, the successful catch of the Super Heavy booster during Flight 5 is more than just a cool trick. It's a critical step toward making space travel cheaper, faster, and more frequent. As SpaceX continues to push boundaries, we're witnessing the dawn of a new era in space exploration. Don't forget to hit that like button, smash subscribe for more jaw-dropping space updates, and join us as we embark on a cosmic journey like never before.